Dollar Bank Three Rivers Arts Festival kicked off downtown this past weekend and it runs through the 11th. I'm joined now by one of the artists participating in the event. We have Tristan Sop, the owner of Resident Design here with us. And you, you've already wrapped up. You I already did. had your booth this weekend. How was it? How's it been? It was a good weekend. Yeah. Uh, I always enjoy getting a chance to show my work anywhere and see people respond and be excited to be able to take a project home. Yeah. I mean, this, what's really cool about the Arts Fest is they try and bring in as many artists and rotate them through. What is resident design? It is mostly projects for people to build themselves at home. So I, I really enjoy crafting. I've always enjoyed making things. I started knitting when I was in like third grade. That's wonderful. So I, I've just always been making things and I went to school for design. So when I got uh, kind of into just making things out of paper and designing my own stuff, I really wanted to make it a project for other people to build. So this is origami almost, but like a sculpture. I violate all the rules of origami. Okay. You have to, you're not allowed to cut, you're not allowed to glue. It's one piece of paper, and, and so I violate all that. Um, the best term is probably paper crafting, Okay. but I like to really focus on just the DIY part. I was looking at your Etsy page mm -hmm. because that's where people can find you. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I, I don't know if you have a physical and store. And your yeah, website. I do. Yeah, and a physical store. Um, yeah. There is this green triceratops. <laughs> I don't know how you make this out of paper, but it is incredible. And you said it has a name. Yep, that's Clark. That's Clark. And it's actually modeled off of a 3D scan of a real triceratops skull, so a real fossil, which was fun to make. So you like working with your hands a lot, but I how do. did you how did you figure out that this was the avenue that you wanted to use your artistic abilities? Trial and error, yeah. you know, this is just something that people responded to and um, people really enjoy the kits and it's my full time job. I'm glad you brought up the kits because yeah. this is something that people, they can buy it as a kit and do it themselves. Yeah, yeah that's the only way they come actually. So it's, it is it is a project and it's not for everyone. My The start of my scale is Ikea. So people don't like building Ikea furniture, struggle with that. Then like this isn't for them, but for people that love projects that really enjoy working with their hands, um, it's exciting to get something. Uh, now, do you have the little people getting hurt, like the Ikea instructions, or? <laughs> no, no, the instructions are definitely a little different, um, which we'll get a chance to show you what exactly that looks like, and I'll be able to demonstrate some of that for you. That's wonderful. So what are your plans for the future? Where do you see your business going? Well, the first thing we did uh, recently is open my storefront in Lawrenceville. So we're located in Lower Lawrenceville, and so half of it's my studio, and the other half is some light retail, and we're open on the weekends with my work, my wife's work and other Pittsburgh artists as well. That's wonderful. Thanks. I'm so glad you met an artist. I did. How about that? <laughs> she right. was a nurse at the time. I helped her make the transition. Fantastic. <laughs> so don't go anywhere because up next, as you just heard, we're going to be back with Tristan Stop as he puts us to work to show us how to put together one of his paper sculptures. I don't know if we'll be able to do it in three minutes, but we're going to try. We'll be right back.